This video will show you where to find the parts to build a homopolar motor. You'll need some ordinary alkaline batteries like these, a piece of copper wire like this, a neodymium magnet, one about this size usually works well, and it's very handy to have a pair of needle nose pliers just like this. The batteries should be easy to find, but I do want to emphasize that it's a good idea to use only alkaline batteries rather than one of the new high energy lithium batteries that may be available. If you don't already have a needle nose pliers like this, you can probably get one at a hardware store or a craft store. If you live in the United States or Canada, it's easy to buy all the copper wire you need. Simply go to your local building supply store and tell them you'd like to buy five or six feet of copper wire suitable for house wiring. Try to buy it without insulation if you can. If you live in a country that uses 220 volts for its standard house wiring, it can be very difficult to find the right diameter copper wire. Copper wire sold in these countries for house wiring is usually stranded and is too small a diameter to make a good homopolar motor. If you can't easily find solid core copper wire, you may want to fold your copper wire in half as shown and then twist it like this to make a stiffer copper wire that you can more easily use for your homopolar motor. If you find an old piece of copper wire that's stiff enough but has worn out insulation, don't worry, it should work just fine. Electrical surplus stores can be a good place to find the wire you need. Now you're ready to find your high energy neodymium magnet. One about this size usually works well. The physical size of your magnet isn't that important but it's always nice if you can find one that approximately matches the size of your battery. Now it's time to buy a magnet at your friendly neighborhood high energy magnet store. Of course it's been carefully disguised as an auto parts store. If you ask for a high energy neodymium magnet, they'll probably say, we don't have any. So naturally you're going to say something like, please show me your magnetic pickup tools. Buy a magnetic pickup tool that looks right for the size homopolar motor you have in mind. You won't have to take the tool part off of the magnet to make this work. Another good place to buy the magnets you need is an electronics component store. You want the kind of store that sells electronic circuits, not the kind that sells stereos. Please help the other people trying to build a homopolar motor by leaving your suggestions on where to find the parts right here in the comments section on YouTube. If you'd like to skip the hassle of finding the parts to build your homopolar motor, please visit sterlingengine.com slash homopolar. We can sell you a kit to build a homopolar motor for less than what it would cost many of you to drive to the store.